Good morning, Hopkins High School, and welcome to HHS Today. I'm Lulu Murphy. And I'm Lexi Trendle. Today we have some fantastic stuff to show you. Congratulations to the Hopkinetics who are sending two teams to the World Finals in Kentucky. And congratulations to the English Department. HHS had six classic writing award winners. And now, let's begin with Hannah, who brings us some tech tips from the Tech Center. Hey Hillers, my name is Mrs. Gustafson and I'm your Tech Center Manager. Today I'm going to be talking to you about self-service. Self-service is a macOS application that the school uses for you to be able to install applications, packages, and other policies. Any software you require for your courses here at HHS is available in self-service. Speaking of the technology help desk, uh, we've added a few helpful bookmarks into self-service under the obviously named bookmarks tab. If you go in there, you'll see the few websites that we've bookmarked that are helpful for students, one of which is the Technology Help Desk, so you no longer have to go to the school website, click a bunch of links, it's all right there for you. Those are some great tips I'll have to remember, and stay tuned because the Tech Center will return with more tips and tricks. That was a good one. Now let's check out a room tour at our school store with Jack. Hi, I'm Jack Dolsky with Mrs. Bernie, and we're doing a room tour of the HHS store. Hi, everybody. So, how long have you been doing this? I have been volunteering in the school store since my daughter was a freshman. I love getting candy there after lunch. We should go today. First, we have an interview from Ross talking to Mr. Prescott about track. Why should people do spring track? Uh, I think that people should do spring track and track and field generally because it is a, it's an athletic event that forces you to compete against yourself. And I think that competing against yourself is one of the best challenges and best skills that someone can learn how to do. Opinion, what's your favorite track event and why? Um, my favorite track event is the 4x100 meter relay. This event is, it is the team component of track, which I do find really fun and exciting. You have to be a good athlete, you have to work hard. In the 4x100 meter relay, it's you, your team, and you have to go as fast as you possibly can. And it's very exciting, uh, and I think that's where it's the Are there any spring only events? If so, what are they? So the spring only events, we have uh, a larger track, so that changes the distances of some of the running events. And then there are some other events uh, on the field that are new and different. So we have the javelin. For the most part, because we have a bigger space, because we usually have more people, we get to have more events. Cool. I think I might have to join track now. Sounds like fun to me. And you know what else sounds like fun? Clay Club sounds like fun. Let's hear all about it from Madison. Clay Club meets on Thursdays at 2 o'clock from 2 to 3. <laughs> I like making plates. I like making mugs. I like the snacks and hanging out with my friends. We did a series of little eggs and we also did um, dog bowls for Bay Path. So a lot of the students created these dog bowls and we're donating them. Um, the students will tell you a little bit more about this, but they also love to bring snacks. So there's lots of snacks every week. And it's a nice group of kids. Everyone has a good time and everyone's really awesome. Sometimes I have a few groups of kids that come in and they want to uh, use the wheel. And if they have some experience throwing on the wheel, so if they've taken ceramics before, this would be a great opportunity for them to um, use what they know. I love food and friends too. Well that's perfect because check out this opportunity for both with Tiffany Ramsaran. Hi, I'm not Tiffany. I'm Nora, but I'll be stepping in for her today since she's quite overwhelmed. The Diversity Club is showcasing current talents, music, dance, art, poetry, etc. during April and will be bringing international foods to the Bee Fring Spring Jam on May 3rd. If you have any family favorite recipes or cultural food you're willing to share at the Bee Free Spring Jam or want to perform your talent, email Mr. Finn or go to the Diversity Club meeting any Monday after school in C205 and help them plan. I'll be there, and I might have to share some family recipes too. Mac and cheese counts, right? Not out of a box, it doesn't. Finally, we're excited to announce that we have some Have You Seen This winners. Winners, as in plural. We were beginning to think this was too hard, but this week we got five correct answers. So we decided to prize out all of you. Prize out? It's my new saying. Congratulations to Somia, Fletcher, Sierra, Ambrose, and Elise. Don't they look happy? Don't you want to be happy? Well, have you seen this? It's somewhere in Hopkins and High. Send us an email and tell us where it is, and you might be a happy winner. Happy winner? Really? This is working for me. Just go with it. All right. From everyone here at HHS-TV, we thank you for watching. 
Visit our website to see everything that we do and tell us how we're doing. We'll see you next time. Catch you later, Alan. No, no. That one's already been used. Well, bye then.